Where I find the joy always, and I always have found the joy in science, is the constant ability to solve problems and to move to uncharted territories. So this has been always very rewarding. My group develops systematic approaches to characterize the function of unknown genes and uses this knowledge to understand how bacteria face their environment, and especially living organisms in their environment. This can be other microbes, so the microbiota can be the host, or they can be also predators for those bacteria, which are viruses that infect bacteria. We each carry as many bacterial cells in our gut as we carry human cells in our body. So that means that there's a lot of potential from that microbiota to impact functions of the host. This is what has captivated the interest of a lot of people and it's clearly that it plays a role for human development and well-being. I think one of the most interesting parts is that the community that you carry is quite unique to yourself. It's different from the community that I carry. You can characterize somebody by the community that they carry. At the same time, it's very stable for the individual. So, so it's the same from your early puberty years till basically your very late ages of, of life. But at the end, the elephant in the room is that all those microbes that are common and prominent across individuals are microbes that we've never studied before. And they bear very little resemblance to model organisms that have been studied for decades in the lab. So the challenge there becomes is that in this field uh, there's a lot of unknowns and uh, I would say a lot of dark genetic matter. Can we use systematic approaches that we've been using before for model organisms to establish model organisms from scratch? And those model organisms can be representative for the gut microbiome. One of the environmental factors that impact the most the microbiome is clear that is medication. What we're interested to see is that what is the direct impact of the medication to the gut microbes. The very first time that we did that, we were astonished to see that many non-antibiotics actually directly target and inhibit the growth of many of the species that individuals carry. But antibiotics clearly have a larger impact. All of the antibiotics that we have developed are broad spectrum, and of course they target the pathogens that we want to treat, but as a collateral damage, they target some of the commensal microbes we carry also in our gut. And the question there becomes how you can mitigate some of those unwanted effects, so you don't destabilize the community composition while taking antibiotics bearing the fact that they've been in this planet for almost four billion years. That means that you can see the beauty of evolution and you can see evolution in action. And then what you see is that you see the diversity of functions they carry, how many different ways evolution can solve the same problem and how robust they are in terms of perturbations they get. So how good survivors they are. The day that I found out about the award, so I received this phone call, I see it's a foreign number unknown. I usually would not pick up, but my 10 year old was saying, no, it might be important, you should pick it up. So I picked it up and it did, it was important. <laughs> of course, I was uh, delighted. It's great to see that uh, the science you do gets recognized, but also the questions that you pose and you ask uh, important people from very different fields found also interesting. So I think this is always rewarding at a personal level, but also it's rewarding also for the team and motivating to, to keep doing things.